Now, one thing you will notice here is when you just maximize this window of the uh, virtual box, the Kali Linux desktop will not resize according to the uh, uh, size of your virtual box window. So this problem we can solve by installing the virtual box guest additions on our Kali Linux. Now to install VirtualBox guest additions on Kali Linux, what you can do is you can open the terminal. You will see terminal icon on the top here or you can uh, just click on this icon and then you will directly see the terminal emulator option here. So once the terminal is open, you just need to uh, give this command here. I will provide this command in the description of the video also. And this command is sudo apt update and sudo apt install hyphen y space linux hyphen headers hyphen in the bracket uname space hyphen r so just give this command and then press enter and then provide your uh, kali linux password and if it says that this uh, linux headers are installed and already are in the newest version then it's uh, very good so now we can uh, install VirtualBox guest additions by just clicking on the device says option here on the VirtualBox window. So just click on devices option and then click on insert guest edition CD image. So once you click on that option, when you minimize your terminal, you will see uh, this kind of uh, CD image on your desktop. So just click on this CD image and this will open this kind of window. So what you can do is you can uh, just select all these files. So select all these files and uh, copy all these files. And then what I would like to do is I will uh, just uh, paste all these files in the downloads folder so I can uh, delete them later once uh, everything is done. And once I paste all these files here, I will open uh, the terminal once again. So let me open uh, the terminal. I will open the new terminal and then I will just cd to the downloads folder where I will see all these files. So now I will uh, just change the permissions to this virtualbox linux addition.run file. So I will give this command chmod755 and the name of the file which is this one. So just copy the file name and then press enter. And now I can run this uh, file. So just write dot forward slash vbox uh, linux additions dot run file and then press enter and it says this program must be run with administrator privileges so i just need to add the sudo in front of uh, this command so i will just write sudo and then run it once again and give my kali linux password and now it's asking me to provide uh, uh, the option here so i will just provide yes here just type yes and then press enter and you can see installing uh, guest additions here. And now once uh, this uh, command is successful, at last you will see this message which says running kernel modules will not be replaced until you restart your system. So after this command, you just need to restart your Kali Linux. So let's uh, just do that. I will close everything. And then I'm going to just shut down the Kali Linux and once the Kali Linux is shut down, I will restart it by just selecting Kali and then start it uh, manually. And straight away after restarting, I can see that uh, this Kali Linux login window is resized according to the size of my Windows desktop uh, monitor. So once again, I will give uh, the username which I have provided and the password which I have provided and it's uh, working. So now you can work uh, on your Kali Linux in a better way. Now let's say I want to check whether my copy and paste uh, options are working or not from my Windows operating system to my Kali Linux. So I can go to the browser and uh, just uh, copy some text from here. So let me copy this text. So this browser is running on my Windows operating system. I will just copy this text and then paste it on the terminal and you can see I am able to do this right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just 
copy uh, the text which is there on the terminal and then I'm going to just uh, copy all the selection from here and then I will try to paste it on my browser so you can see this is also working so because we have selected bi-directional uh, drag and drop and copy and paste that's why all uh, the copy and paste and drag and drop options will work also let's try to check whether drag and drop option is working or not so I'm going to just open uh, some file on my Windows operating system and I will just drag this file to the Kali Linux desktop and you can see this file is copied on my Kali Linux desktop from my Windows operating system so now drag and drop option is also working so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video